So anthrax is, is a, actually the disease is caused by a bacteria, Bacillus anthracis. The big thing about anthrax is, is the spores that are formed from the bacteria. They are very resistant uh, to the environment and they will survive in the environment for probably decades. We're not exactly sure how long. Uh, but when we have historical flooding, then you will see these soil borne spores get disturbed. And a lot of times in the floodwaters, they're redistributed. A lot of times on pastures or places where they weren't. And once those floodwaters recede, uh, there is the possibility that species like, especially cattle, sheep, and goats can go out and graze and ingest those spores, uh, which uh, if enough are ingested and things go right, you could have an infection with the organism. The spores do well as far as in alkaline soils. So if you have alkaline soils and those get flooded, then there is the possibility that you take those spores and put them out there on that alkaline soil and they like to survive in those conditions. Uh, the other kind of interesting fact is if you happen to have property or live along uh, one of the old cattle trails such as the Chisholm Trail or Shawnee Trail or Great Western Trail, that's a lot of times where we'll also see um, this, this anthrax pop up uh, as far as that goes, uh, where it might be found. You know, as far as clinical signs are concerned, the most common sign you're probably going to find is drive up in your pasture and you find a dead animal. Uh, if you're lucky enough to catch it early, you probably see fever, uh, some muscle tremors. Maybe the cows are excited. Uh, they could convulse. You could see some labored breathing. That would be the characteristic you'd see. But by far, the most common thing you're going to find is you just have a cow that's healthy today and all of a sudden you find her dead in your pasture the next. If you drive up and you just suddenly find an animal that's passed away, I strongly would suggest to you to get a veterinarian involved. Uh, have them try to come out and see if they can make a diagnosis of what uh, caused the, the problem. If you'd like some more information about anthrax, just go to sunup.okstate.edu.